since we put collars on here, I still like to go through. We're using a, a FPD a countersink bit for drilling and tapping. It has a 516 shaft with a 3 8 bevel head that puts a nice uh, bevel uh, so that we don't have threads all the way that can wear off. So it puts a nice bevel on the top of our holes. Drill and tap the heels also. The nice thing about the tracker, it's got this nice flat spot so we can drill and tap quite easily and not have to worry about uh, drifting, drifting heel calls. Okay, we're going to go ahead and drill and tap. I use a hammer drill. Just take your time to go through it. I use, I use the stick wax for my lubricant. Get it leveled, lined up as much as possible, straight up and down. One of the tricks with drilling and tapping, you don't want to quench your shoe right away. You want to let it kind of cool a little bit before you don't want to over harden it. But as you can see, Drilling and tapping is an easy thing. 